right guys this is it this is the 10 this is the 10 minute project to uh, feed your bees some pollen supplement uh, dry pollen feeder really simple um, we'll get into it right away this is gonna be a real short video today guys on how I did this and uh, you know drop your comments in the bottom and let's get into it hey everyone welcome to Bee Ranch uh, Walker Bee Ranch today I just wanted to uh, do a quick project today in preparations for the spring um, I'm sure everybody's seen uh, pollen supplement feeders so today I'm gonna do one now uh, don't make the mistakes I made <laughs> so the first mistake was I thought I was just gonna use some scrap pipe that I had I've got some four inch pipe here but I don't know if you can see how thin those walls are so uh, just to let you know um, I've got another piece here from my mentor and you can probably see the thickness difference so make sure if you've got a spare piece of thin wall pipe laying around that you use uh, get the appropriate fittings I did not I ended up getting oh if I can get the pipe off here I ended up using a uh, thicker wall thicker piece of pipe there so I'm not gonna try to struggle through that <clears throat> to get it off it was pretty simple I just got a 45 so it's got a slope to it if you can see that the slope down to keep the water out uh, I'm actually gonna so I've got a plum quick four inch cap it's just uh, what plumbers call a fern co cap um, comes with a band clamp on it that uh, it's a flat blade so I just uh, loosened up the band clamp to make it loose um, and what I'm gonna do is just put that on one end just a rubber cap the reason I chose the rubber and you know some people will probably not like the rubber because of the uh, because it's made out of a I guess it's rubber has got oil base in it or something I don't know it's not natural right and we're just gonna smack that on one end here if I can maybe I didn't loosen this up enough but the reason I went with this clamp style cap is because I see a lot of people that have made these and drill holes in them and there we go see pops on there nice and snug and it does have a clamp but really I don't need the clamp I, I could take the clamp all the way off it's just a rubber cap that I can take off easy uh, easily or maybe with a screwdriver to be able to uh, easily put pollen in it and probably could even just put it in the other end but I'm just gonna screw that tight you don't need very many things to do this so I just used the old scrap piece of pipe this one's four inch obviously if you got bigger or smaller than a four inch then you'll need to get the cap that's appropriate a lot of people use the fitting caps and I think uh, maybe they're more expensive and uh, you know I'm sure they'll work just as fine and then what I got is a 45 degree elbow um, so they can just it'll keep the rain out of there uh, I actually had glue that I was gonna glue this but in my infinite wisdom I put it on the pipe and it's on there really good right now so don't know I did um, wash the outside of the pipe actually I could probably just let it go like this with no glue because it's tight uh, the only reason I was thinking about the glue is to again keep water out of it um, I've got some polypropylene cord real cheap at probably Walmart you can get this I know you can get it at Lowe's um, I think this came from Home Depot and uh, all I want to do is I'm just gonna wrap it around um, bring a knife out or nothing guys I'm not prepared today it was uh, 
a little bit dark this morning, so I wasn't trying to, uh, I didn't know if I was going to do a video today. <coughs> Essentially, I'm just going to wrap it around one end and tighten it. And, hey Bob, why are you uh, doing it this way and not drilling holes and hanging nice stuff on it again? It's just to keep the rain out. I'm sure there's 50 ways you could do this. And I just used a simple half hitch and I'm going to make a double half hitch. I'm just going to do a twice loop. Um, that way, if I need to, I can pull it out. It's going to hold. It's a Navy knot, guys. <laughs> I'm a Navy veteran. It's a Navy knot. That won't fall. And then what I'm just going to do is uh, I can do the same thing on the other side and trim the excess off if I want to. But you can make it as long or as short as you want to. And since this is polypropylene, I'm actually just going to spool off a bunch of extra and probably burn it in half since I didn't bring a knife. Let me see if I can get, get a lighter out. Ooh, hopefully I'm not way out of frame. All right, so I'm just going to try to burn this in half. May or may not work. We're going to find out together, guys. <laughs> So this polypropylene, um, usually you can just start it and then pull it. So now I've got this extra bit of cord here. And I'm going to wrap around the other side. I could probably even put it up under, matter of fact, I think I will do that. I'm going to hang it up under the 45 here. You see right there. There's kind of a method to my madness on that. And with a half hitch, you basically just are going to loop it through one time through the hole. And then I'm going to hold the knot right there and spin it around the back and back through the hole we just created. And there's one. We're going to do it twice. And two times. So since I'm holding the knot, I'm just going to try to tighten this up like this. Ugh. All right. Need my other hand now. All right. So right now what we got is we got a loop on one end with the cord. And you can make this shorter, obviously. But the reason I wanted to do it like this is so since I have the loop on the front, I can now take that loop off, right? It's in place and whoops sorry the loop is right there and you can make as many of those half hitches as you desire you could do a couple more if you don't think that's uh, strong enough but then I can just uh, you know run this around a branch or something and then hang it and there you go pollen feeder you can shorten it up I don't know your situation you might just have a nail or somewhere to hang it and that way you can just tie off the extra cord or you can clip it and trim it to the length obviously I didn't do it like that but you know there you go you got a pollen feeder I got a four inch 45 and a black cap a screwdriver um, don't put the don't put the 45 on first on the pipe to test it if you're gonna glue it so that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, you could also tie this off uh, if you wanted to, to make just a loop to hang it from. But, you know, that's going to be depending how high it is, the where you're going to hang it from, and everything. And you can see how you can kind of manipulate the lengths of the side. Well, you probably can't see it now. <laughs> you can manipulate the lengths of the side to uh, to level it or to... Sturdy. So there you go. That's just a quick uh, five minute project. If that, if you got the pipe, if you don't have to cut it, this was just a scrap piece that was already cut. I just threw a cap on the end of 45. You could take the cap back off pretty easily, probably. If I didn't like throw a tight, tighten it. Just loosen it. Pop it right off. Put your pollen sub if it's even if it's hanging. Yep. There you go. 
even if it's hanging, you got your pollen sub out, you can just put some in there, put the cap right back on. So really easy. Obviously it's not easy to do one handed, <laughs> but once you got it secured, it'd be better. So you can just slide that back on. It'll be watertight. It's designed. That's what it's designed for. This rubber should last a long time. Um, you can use this little clamp if you want to or not, it's up to you. But just a good little tip, something to do uh, to feed, you know, feed your bees some pollen sub, and there you go. I'm gonna try to hang this uh, pollen feeder that we just made, and uh, you can see the branch is right here. I'm gonna try to hang it from, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So don't laugh too hard. <laughs> so this is the little loop that we made with the half hitch. Let me make sure I got this the way I want it to go. Uh, throw it over the branch and I made mine a little bit long now you can see it's not level so all you have to do is spin it um, and if you want make it level or even tilt it back you can even tilt it back a little bit I don't think you're going to have to worry about water going all the way up there unless you have it tilted too crazy. But uh, that's that. If you wanted to raise it, you would just make the cord shorter, guys. Make the cord shorter. Make your loop up here instead. Pretty simple. You could actually probably do it right here, right now. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. I'm just going to zip a half hitch in it. Get a little bit taller. I got this doubled up because it was that loop, right? Double that through here. You can tighten it. There you go. You want to trim off the excess, you just snip the excess. Rotate it how you want. And there you go. Let's see. Make it level. Bees will find it, right? They'll find it attractive. I just put the cord underneath the 45 lip right there because I feel like uh, that'll support that weight on that end a little bit better. But yeah, that's it. Now you can put your pollen sub in there. You can see the bees land right here. Walk up. Well, maybe you can't. I got this thing on a tripod. Sorry. Um, bees walk in there. No water will come in. Don't have to worry about your pollen sub getting wet because it's not not inexpensive, right? And uh, just have it hanging from the tree. Pretty simple. I guess you could even paint that. Just use a plastic paint. Probably rough up the fitting on the end, um, and be good to go. But there you go. A uh, short 10-15 minute project and you have a pollen feeder.